Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today we're going to be taking a look at the built-in desktop mode on the Pixel 9 Pro XL. This will also work on the Pixel 9 Pro. I'm not sure about the regular Pixel 9 or not, but out of the box, this does support video over USB Type-C, otherwise known as Alt Mode. And from the developer settings, we can enable desktop mode with multi-window support, resizable windows. It's actually pretty decent. Not as good as something like Samsung DeX or Motorola's Ready 4, but if you're a Pixel user and you've been wanting to get that big screen desktop experience, this could definitely get you by for now. Okay, so first things first, in order to get this up and running, you're going to need either a display that supports USB Type-C video in or some type of adapter. There's a ton of them over on Amazon. You could even use a USB Type-C Steam Deck dock. They're really cheap over there. I'll leave some links in the description. Out of the box, what we can do here is mirror the display with the Pixel 9 Pro XL. We're going to get a pop-up on the Pixel. It's going to ask us if we want to mirror the screen. This will work out of the box. You don't have to do anything extra. Don't have to enable developer settings or anything like that. We've got a wired connection going over to the larger display. There's zero input latency because it is a wired connection. We're not using Chromecast or anything like that. You can watch videos. You can play games here, but we don't have any multi-window support. And as you see, starting up Minecraft, we've got that black bar on the top and bottom. And this is because the aspect ratio of the built-in screen of the Pixel 9 Pro XL is not 16 by 9 like our monitor and most TVs are. I'm going to show you how to enable desktop mode. It's actually really easy. You don't need any root. And there's one other application that I recommend using along with this just to make it a bit easier when you're in desktop mode on the Pixel 9 Pro or the Pixel 9 Pro XL. Again, this is a pretty easy process. Basically, what we're going to do is find our settings. From here, we want to scroll all the way down to the bottom, about phone. From here, we're going to find our build number and tap on it a few times. It'll give you a prompt letting you know that you're now a developer. We're going to back up. Now that we've unlocked developer settings, we're going to go to system. All the way down at the bottom, developer options, force desktop mode. It's going to ask you to reboot, but we're going to reboot later. Enable freeform windows. Again, later, and force activities to be resizable. That way, we can use those multi apps and resize them while we're in desktop mode. Now, obviously, we'll need to reboot our device in order for this to take effect. And I mentioned there was one app that I recommend using along with desktop mode on the Pixel, and that's called Taskbar. It's available from Google Play. I've got mine installed. Starting it up, you're going to get a little menu here. It'll also prompt you to allow a few permissions here and there. If you read down the list, we've got a desktop mode section, and this is exactly what we want to enable. We want to make sure that this is ready to go. So once we plug our device in with desktop mode enabled, we're going to get this taskbar on screen. It's just going to make navigation a lot easier. We've enabled desktop mode from the developer settings, and we've also installed that taskbar application. Plugging the phone back in, it'll still prompt us to mirror the display. But instead of mirroring the built-in screen, we've actually got a whole separate full-screen desktop. So we can actually use the desktop and the phone screen at the same time. Again, this does support multi-windows. And I want to show you exactly how this works. What I'm going to do here is use one of those Steam Deck docks like I mentioned. It's just a lot easier. It's got HDMI and USB connections. That way I can plug in a mouse and keyboard. And here it is. It's definitely not on par with Samsung DeX or Motorola's Ready 4, but with the taskbar application installed, it is very usable. We can collapse this. You can also set it up to automatically collapse. I've got all of my recently used apps right here. App panel, we can scroll through, and it does support multi-window, resizable windows. So for instance, we'll launch Chrome. And by the way, with Chrome, I did set it to desktop mode. That way we've got the much larger display here. I've got Google Play. We can resize this basically any way we want to. And we'll open up Adobe Rush. You can do some video editing on this, and we'll take a look at that in just a second. But at the top of each of our windows, we do have a full screen mode. It doesn't have a snap feature. It'd be really nice if it had that. But overall, I mean, with these multiple windows and everything like that, you can definitely get some stuff done on a larger screen with the Pixel 9 Pro. With Taskbar, you can also add widgets if you want to. I haven't added any. And if you want to customize the wallpaper, we actually don't have to change the phone's wallpaper. Just right-clicking on the desktop, we can change wallpaper. Desktop only. 
and we can add whatever we'd like. A little too pink, but either way, we'll just go back to the device wallpaper. So yeah, not too bad, especially when it comes to web browsing. Given that we can go to desktop mode with this, we do have a much larger display to work with here. You can get all of your web browsing done on a large screen. And let's just say you wanted to do some video editing on a large screen. I personally like Adobe Rush, but you could use whatever application suits you best. With this, we can maximize it, create a new project, sample media, The new G4 CPU isn't as fast as something like the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, but you can scrub through this timeline just fine. Export. Over here, we've got a bunch of different color presets. So if I wanted to change this one to brightly, we'll go cinematic with that one. Deep shadow with this one. It's got a cut tool, paste tool. Yeah, I mean, I could definitely export this if I wanted to. Another thing people might use this for is something like Google Sheets. That way we've got a much larger screen to work with if you're doing a spreadsheet or something. But my main use case scenario for any Android phone with HDMI out or video over USB Type-C is gaming. And with this, we'll just launch Minecraft real quick. In the past, this is one of those games that always gave me issues trying to scale it up in desktop mode on any Android device. But yeah, it'll go right into place for us. And we can also go full screen with it. I've got an Xbox controller connected over Bluetooth to the Pixel so we can play these games with a wireless controller. And something like Minecraft is definitely an easier one to run. We've got more than enough power with that new G4 CPU to run this game at full speed. Right now, I think we can only do up to 1080 out while we're in desktop mode. This is a 1440p display, but I don't think it's quite at 1440. There's no resolution settings or anything right now. In all actuality, we're working with a very basic Android desktop. If you've ever used a Samsung device with Samsung DeX, you know how good that can be. And even Motorola's Ready 4 is actually really advanced when you compare it to something like this. But you could still game on the big screen like this. You could get some work done. I also wanted to test out Call of Duty Mobile. Of course, it's very well optimized. I'm at very high settings right now with the frame rate set to ultra. But just like the resolution here, I think we're only up to 60. But it does run really smooth, and with this Xbox controller connected, I didn't have to do any additional setup with Call of Duty Mobile. Another thing I love doing in desktop mode, or even in mirror mode on a bigger screen with an Android device, is emulation. Here's some Dreamcast emulation using the ReDream emulator, Marvel vs. Capcom 2. I'm at 1080p with it. It's running at full speed. We've got that frame counter up in the top left hand corner. And I also tested out a little bit of PSP emulation. Even something like uh, Chains of Olympus, a harder to emulate PSP game, can run at 4x on the new Pixel 9 Pro XL. And of course, Google really isn't advertising this because it's kind of lackluster when you compare it to the other desktop modes on the market. But if you are a Pixel user, just note that, yeah, it can be used like this. I would highly suggest installing something like Taskbar. That way, you've got a few extra settings here and there to make it a lot easier to use a larger screen. Like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, you will need either a display that supports USB Type-C video in, or you can use some type of adapter, dock system. They also make some dock stands with USB Type-C to HDMI. I've used a bunch of them, and in the description I will leave some links to the ones that I personally like to use with my Samsung and Pixel devices. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. I really appreciate you watching. Let me know in the comments below if this is something you're going to be utilizing on your Pixel 9. And keep in mind, this also works on the Pixel 8 Pro XL. I believe that's what they called it. With their latest Android update, it does support video over USB Type-C. And you can use the same method to enable desktop mode. So you can use that with the big screen also. But that's it for this one. And like always, thanks for watching.